Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. It is Friday morning. That means we bring on the man, myth, the legend, Mr. Stephen Dow from Velocity Mortgage. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. And yourself? I'm doing great, man. So first and foremost, as I announced on the Daily Financial News, we are doing the don we're raising funds for the food bank donation. And I just want to give you a yes. special shout out. Uh, you just made a nice commitment. And uh, I do, I will say that uh, you beat out Matt, the mortgage guy. So uh, <laughs> I'm just uh -oh, saying, I'm just sheet. saying. <laughs> uh -oh. Here it comes. Yeah. Pack your so, bags. We're going on the guilt trip. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Matt, Matt, come on, buddy. What's going on? <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to th thank you for that because uh, I get I called you out and you and you made the commitment this morning. So thank you for that. Hey, what I well, we talked talk about that. Yeah, yeah, we had talked about that a while ago, so no problem. Yeah, and you and you doubled your commitment, so I appreciate that. Uh, but what I want to talk about here is portfolio loans. Uh, mm -hmm. I know we just had a one rental at a time uh, couple, Monica and yes. Patrick. We will use first names. Congratulations to both of you. Uh, they yes. closed a portfolio loan of seventeen yes. properties. Uh, yes. which, which was a purchase. Is that correct? Correct. So uh, Monica and Patrick, uh, you need to send me an email with your address because I need to send you <laughs> a stack. <laughs> I need to send you a stack of these so that I can officially count you. They can use this with wallpaper. Or, yeah, exactly. You know, it could be, ra it could nice. be wrapping paper. <laughs> uh, but but so, uh, no. yeah, what I want to say to them. Yeah. And, um, what I want people to take away from that, first off, congratulations to them, is I suspect probably for the next year or so, there's going to be more and more opportunities for portfolios, right? We have a generation of landlords that are done. Um, they've had a hell of a couple of years. Uh, you know, Some of them will do seller financing, which you can get great. Others will give you a discount to buy them all. And right. if you watch my channel about 10 days ago, I gave you my buy box and I basically did that so I can send it to Fresno agents. I'm looking to do exactly what Monica and Patrick did. Right. I want to find an owner who wants to sell everything to one person. And frankly, I'm, I'm not opposed to, you know, paying what they want. I just want to be able to organize the deal. So why don't you talk about portfolio loans? Cause again, everybody talks about them sometimes called blanket loans. But you guys really do them, and uh, that right. is awesome. Right. Um, again, although I work happily for Velocity Mortgage <laughs> Capital, all I the forgot. ideas and topics discussed on this channel are that of my own. Uh, but I'll go ahead and get it going. Uh, as far as yeah, blanket loans, um, the idea here is obviously in lower markets, many lenders don't touch anything under a certain you know price range or, or loan amount, and so it makes it difficult to find financing in those circumstances. So for us. Uh, we can actually go all the way down to a $50,000 per property value that's mm -hmm. included in the blanket. So it makes a much more of a, a feasible option when you're looking for that type of opportunity, because unless you're Elon Musk or like I say, Jeff Bezos, you got all you know, yeah. types of money, you're going to need somebody like me. So lots of work on our part. Don't get it, you know, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Uh, but for what we provide as far as a service and what you, you know, at least for what Monica and Patrick had to pay for the zips was a smoking deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she's a, she's a savvy negotiator. She beat me up pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. So uh, good, uh, kudos to her. I like but, it. Uh, good for you. Monica. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but again, think about that, right? It's one loan. It's one deal. You, mm -hmm. you're, uh, mm -hmm. I, let's be clear. This isn't you. This is your no. team. Let's be clear. Oh, yes. They're going through 17 different appraisals and 17 different uh, this and title and all of that. So, Definitely heavy lifting. But again, as the investors, as the followers of one rental at a time, mm -hmm. this is this is this is what a lot of you're gonna a lot of people will have this option. And I know some of you don't feel that way. Go to the meetings, right. meet new people, tell the agents. Uh, there will be several off-market opportunities where where a seller will go like, or I should say it's an owner. I gotta be very careful, right? An owner tells a real estate friend, I think I'm done. Right. I want to sell it all. Right. And they're going to they're going to go out and, and look at their network. So, again, tell people what you're looking to do. Tell everybody mm -hmm. uh, too many of us, myself included, right. the first five years was I don't know why we it was almost like we were shy. Like, I mean, I was my buy box was like tight. Right. Nine, three, seven, right. three, right. three, four, five, three or four bedrooms. I should have right. told everybody I spoke with. I have no idea why I didn't. Uh, so don't right. make my mistake. So I think portfolio blanket loans are amazing. I think lots of banks talk about them. Uh, but mm -hmm. 
uh, I've only worked with one organization that will actually get them done. And that's you and Velocity Mortgage. So um, <laughs> if you're looking to buy them, that's the way to go. Because they get a lot of banks talk. I mean, I've tried to do blanket loans at other banks and they talk a good game right. and then they, then it just never happens. And that's after I waste a bunch of money and more importantly, waste a bunch of time. So right. um, I like what you guys do. Yeah, no, thanks again. And shout out to Win, my processor, uh, does all the heavy lifting. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I uh, just want to make sure she gets her recognition well-deserved. But of course, definitely the 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 uh, the user friendly aspect of the product uh, allows for those types of opportunities because we don't have a lot of the same restrictions as you know government back loans for Fannie Freddie. Mm-hmm. Um, we can do as many as you'd like. There's no limitation of a maximum of ten. Mm-hmm. So if you keep coming across great opportunities and you've got the you know minimum credit uh, profile, minimum down payment, mm-hmm. and the properties pass the smell test as far as you know minimum condition and value comes in at the supported, you know, or, or what it needs to support the purchase price. Yeah. We're in docs pretty quickly. So, yeah. um, yeah. And 30 year fixed money as well. So yeah. let's not forget that again, what big thing watching my channel, I'm very nervous where this thing could go. You got to get mm-hmm. that 30 year fixed rate money. Uh, and again, Hey, if we go into a deflationary environment in a couple of years and rates come down. Great. Refi. Right. Uh, right. I don't see that coming, but Anything's possible in today's age. So again, right. if somebody is, ta- it, it, this is the last piece of advice and we'll wrap up as episode number one. If you're out fishing sure. and you get a little nibble, that could be a mm-hmm. portfolio deal. I strongly recommend you reach out to Steven immediately to kind of right. talk numbers. Uh, because again, talk about right. that 50K limit, right? If you're, you're doing a deal in some of these states and a couple of those assets you think will come in under that. Right. You know, let's, let's, just, let's just not be surprised. So again, right. if you, somebody wanted to reach out to you, Stephen, and have these discussions, how do you want them to do it? Yes. And again, S-D-A-O at uh, VelocityMortgage.com. It's below us in, in the um, little Show notes. information down. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, please remember to put just the acronym O-R-A-A-T in the subject line. Yeah, uh, just, you know, some people, just. Right. Because sometimes they forget and they'll put like the topic or something like that. And it gets stuck in quarantine, which is what I've been having to do these last couple of emails where I'm I'm calling people back. It's like, I just got your email. I just got your email. So yeah. apologies for the delayed responses. But in some cases, you just forgot to put that in the subject line and you got caught in the in the mix. And I'm just getting buried with so many emails. And just sometimes I'm not able to look at it, yeah. you know, every hour to try to see who got caught in quarantine. It's sometimes that weekend or that what not to get caught up. So apologies for that. But keep trying. I'm, I'm definitely available. Um, rates have been moving. Uh, I would, again, not to confuse pressure with urgency, but if you are thinking... I would get off the sidelines and try to, yeah. you know, look at some real numbers because yeah, before you, you might miss out. Um, mm-hmm. But other than that, yeah, looking forward to talking to anybody just to see what kind of uh, opportunities that we can kind of help out in. Absolutely. And topic number two, folks, is going to be one that you want to pay attention to. It's going to be dead money versus dry powder. Pay attention for that one. Thanks, Steven. Okay. Thanks, man.